Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the readable question 3 sum. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So we have to return all triplets like uh, i number, j number, k number, such that uh, all three indices are different, like i, j, k are all different, and uh, i number plus j number plus k number equals zero, and then uh, no duplicates. So I think it's gonna be tough to manage three indices at the same time. So my strategy is first of all, I fix I index. So let's say start from index zero and uh, iterate through one by one. And uh, we have other two indices, J and K, right? And then J always start from I plus one here. And then K start from the last index. So um, every time uh, we check three numbers and then a total of these three numbers are equal to zero. So this is a one of a uh, uh, target triplets. So to do that, uh, important thing is that um, we sort input array. Actually, I already sorted input array. So if we fix i number here, so look at the from j to k. So uh, do you know two sum two question? Um, so in the two sum two questions, so input is sorted array. So that's why uh, we can solve uh, two sum two question with two pointers. So actually, it's same as two, two sum two questions. So input numbers are sorted, and we have two pointers. So every time uh, we check the total uh, with three numbers, and then um, if total is uh, greater than zero, in that case, um, we move k to next. So that's because uh, um, uh, we want to uh, make total uh, like a uh, small, right? So that's why uh, we move k to next. And on the other hand, uh, total of three numbers are like uh, less than zero. In the case, uh, we move j to next to get uh, like a bigger um, total. Okay, so uh, let's uh, demonstrate one by one. So we fix i number uh, at index zero. And uh, now j is minus one and k is two. So total should be uh, minus three, right? So minus three is uh, uh, less than zero in that case. So we move j to next. And then um, again, minus one, uh, minus four, plus minus one, minus five, plus two, and then minus three, right? So three minus three is uh, less than zero. So move next, j. And now minus four plus zero plus two. So minus two, so we should J move j to next and then uh, minus four uh, one and minus three and uh, plus two so minus one so uh, total is uh, less than zero right so in the case we move j to next so now uh, j and k are uh, uh, same index so in that case we stop iteration and then um, so we have to return uh, all triplet with uh, these conditions so that's why uh, we have to check everything. So now uh, I we fix i number at index zero. So that's why next uh, we fix i at index one. And then, so j start from i plus one. And then k start uh, from last index. And then now our three numbers are minus one, plus minus one, and minus two, plus two. So that is zero, right? So total is zero and uh, three indices are different. So now uh, we find we found uh, one of uh, our target triplets. So um, minus one and minus one and two. So this is uh, one of um, answer. And then next, so uh, now, uh, so there are, I think, uh, several ways to move um, indices to next, but the uh, uh, easiest way is just a, uh, move j to next and then uh, so in this case um uh, next number is zero right and the current number is minus one so they are different right so it's uh, no problem but uh, what if um, this zero is minus one so in the case again uh, minus one and minus one and two right so in the case uh, total is zero and uh, different indices so uh, this combination meets condition, right? But uh, it's a duplicate uh, we, uh, of uh, this combination. So that's why um, when we find a, a target uh, triplet, um, 
of course, um, we move J pointer to next once, but uh, uh, we should check uh, next number. Um, and uh, if next number is equal to uh, current number, I mean previous number, in that case, we should move J index to next so that we can avoid uh, like a duplicate triplets. But uh, in this case, um, next number is zero, right? So we should delete like this. Uh, no, uh, J is not here. So um, next number is zero and the current number is minus one. So that's why just uh, uh, we move J pointer to next once and then um, check three numbers, minus one, zero, and uh, two. So in this case, plus one. So plus one is greater than zero. In that case, we move k to next to get a small, smaller total. And then next, minus one, zero, one. So in that case, total is zero, right? So this is a, a one of a, a target triplets. And total is zero, and uh, three indices are all different. So in this case, minus one, zero, and one. And then, um, so actually, this is a, a example one, and uh, example one said uh, output is these two um, combination. So um, later we don't find uh, uh, any um, target triplet, so we we stop. Uh, explanation because uh, it's a waste of time, right? So we do the same thing. Uh, so if we reach uh, like a J and K, uh, we finish iteration and then I um, move next and the J start from I plus one and the K always start plus index and we do the same thing. Yeah, that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a result variable. So this is a return value and uh, as I told you, um, first of all, we should sort input array, nums.sort. And then um, iterate through one by one, and uh, we fix i number. So for i in range and the length of nums. And then um, if i is greater than zero, and uh, nums i equal nums i minus one, so uh, there is a possibility that uh, we will create the uh, same uh, like a triplets. So that's why um, we don't do anything, just uh, continue. If not the case, um, so create a J equal I plus one and the K should be last index. So length nums minus one. And then while J is less than K, so we continue. So first of all, uh, calculate total. So nums i plus nums j plus nums k. And then if to total is greater than zero, in that case, we should move k index. So k minus equal one, because uh, k starts from last index, right? Oops. And then as if um, total is less than zero, in that case, so we should move J pointer to next, right? And then if not the case, so um, total is zero, right? So in the case, less dot append and uh, create an array and nums i and nums j and nums k. And then um, J move next, J plus equal one. And then uh, in the previous section, uh, I already explained. So there is a possibility that uh, current J number is um, same as uh, like a previous number. So that's why while nums J equal nums J minus one and uh, J is less than K. So this is uh, important. So in the case, uh, we should move J pointer to next so that we can uh, avoid uh, like a duplicate triplets. And then after that, so return result variable. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the uh, time complexity of this solution should be, I think, uh, ON square. It's kind of a brute force solution. 
And the space complexity is, I think, a uh, uh, order of n uh, because of uh, sort algorithm. So in Python, uh, sorting algorithm use like a team sort, so which uh, use O n space. So that's why. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with the actions such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.